Are you ready? It's mascara time. It's mascara time. Let's go. Is the camera good? The camera is good. Going, I don't know why I keep saying let's go. It is insanely bright. <laughs> when that comes on, it's a shocker. Alan was like, I'm gonna suntan in front of that thing. And I was like, apparently not. I've been sitting in front of it for years. And I still have to do some sanding. Okay. Hey, I'm Amber. And if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you hit subscribe. Excited that you're here. My Blush Beauties, we're gonna dive in and try new mascaras and a new technique to your makeup called under sculpting. Let's get into it. Today is Monday, FYI. I like to start the vlog on a Monday because it's like fresh. And I like to come back on a Friday when I end the week. I'm like, if I don't have anything happening, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, y'all ain't seeing me. Anyways, um, no, it's like just nothing happening. But I'm gonna tell you what I'm about to do this week. I'm just about to get serious. First of all, look what happened. Can we see this? That is a tragedy. Can we also see this? That's just like the base of <laughs> the um, rhinestone. The actual rhinestone's gone, so. That's cool. Not sure where that fell off at and not sure where the nail fell off. And I just cooked dinner. It wasn't in the food. It wasn't, I swear. I looked. <laughs> All right, well, anyways, we're doing mascara. I was like, okay, I've been wanting to do mascara for a while, but I don't want to do it during the day, and then I have to put on makeup, and then I have to take off what I did, and it's like, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to do mascara now, and I'm going to show you the mascaras I'm going to use. I don't have a ton of mascaras. I really have not ventured out into a lot of mascaras. Shocker, right? I know. But I'm about to, guys. I'm about to. Because I keep hearing good things about other brands, mascara that I have not purchased yet. And I'm about to do it. So I say I don't have a lot of mascaras, but I actually have a lot. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, is that seven? Seven mascaras. Yeah. It's like, can I count? I can count. So we're going to do all of them and we're going to see the difference. I'm going to do my best to like really give you my honest opinion. Okay. So the first one I have not tried, new to my channel, is the Ulta Beauty Mascara. First, this packaging is everything. I love a good pink. It says maximum lashes. It says defining and lengthening the mascara. Or defining, lengthening mascara. Not the mascara. Okay, so anyways, I've literally not even opened it. Not even opened it. So this is a first. I don't have a primer, but there is a primer I'm about to purchase too, which I can't wait. Maybe I will show it in this vlog. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll purchase it by then. Okay, first impression from all of us. Whoa. Okay, I see you. I see what they did here. So, I can see how it's more like spidery wands, right? It's not like the brush. That's why it's defining. This will definitely define. We have flatter side and more defined side. This is okay. I see this. I see you. All right, so I have no primer on. I have nothing on. Let's just get a good take of these before lashes. Maybe I should take a picture of this action. Let's take a picture. I always feel like I go cross-eyed when I take a picture because I'm like so close to the camera. Okay, so let's get this on, see what we think. I like to do a little zigzag motion. Well guys, out the gate, I don't love it. Now, that's actually, let me take that back. I'm going to use three words here. Like, love, dislike. I'm not even going to use the H word. It's not kind. So, I like it. Amber? Yeah? I need to use your magnifying mirror. Come on, I'm doing a video. Oh. You're good. I'm trying different mascaras. You can be the judge. Oh, Lord, I don't want to be on my video. I mean, you're in, you're in my background. You're, I mean, you're not in the video. I moved the camera. Oh, I look like Mama. Angel does not. She is not on board for this content. Okay. Um, what I like about this, because I don't love it, but I like it, is that it's actually doing what it said it's going to do. It's defining. Now, I'm using a couple coats. It's not clumpy. It's actually a very good mascara. I mean, let's be honest. This is honesty, guys. It's not clumpy. It's actually a very, very good mascara. I think this is good for no makeup makeup look. Like when I just want to make my lashes look like 
false lashes. I think this is giving me false lashes. What do you think? Yeah, it does look, yeah, it looks real pretty. Like it doesn't even really look like mascara. By the way, this eye's been twitching a lot. I think Mark's twitch is rubbing off of me. <laughs> Um, but it's giving me falsies. Do y'all see my eye moving? It's so bizarre. Next, I'm gonna do Better Than You Know What Mascara by Too Faced. Now, I think I need a new one of this one. This one's not very full, and it's been a minute, so I actually do need to either repurchase this or not repurchase it. This one's really low, so I don't know if it's gonna give me the full effect, but let's give it a go. I think that one looks better. Yeah, it thickens the lash more. I do like this one, but it's low. Like, you can really tell that one's a lot darker than this mm -hmm. one. It looks better. Yeah. So this one's, I would wear this one when I'm, I actually have nothing on. I would wear it like today. I would you wear need nothing. to do a video of me because I have no eye eyelashes. Oh, no, that's true. I really don't. Angel has slept. Now, comment below if this is you. When you are more heavy on sleeping more on your right or left side, in your la oh gosh, this one's really buildable. So this Too Faced one is really nice. It's really buildable. You can definitely see the thickness at the root, which is nice. Definitely gives it a fuller look. So I love this mascara, actually. I really love this one. The second one? Yeah, this one. Yeah. Yep, for that sure. Really, I like yeah. that one a lot. Yep, I love that one. Um, but if you're heavy on sleeping on one side or the other, like your lashes get smashed. So that's kind of what's happened to Angel. And then her lashes just got really thin. And she did false lashes for a minute. Mine are um, curly too. Yeah, she has really curly lashes. All right, now I'm going to take this oil-free eye makeup remover from the Mary Kay brand. I've actually never used another oil-free eye makeup remover. And I probably won't because I hear a lot from my clients that they have used a lot across the board in brands. And they're like, always come back to this one because it's one that really does not leave any residue on your eye. So, I think I'm going to stick with it. All right, so now we're just going to take that and let it dissolve the mascara. Do you want to... Little blade thing, and it'll take the fuzz off your face. Mm -hmm, that's what I need. I don't Infection. have any oil on my face. You have yeah. any oil? No, you don't want oil. You want to do it dry. Huh. Yeah. Like that. Not like that. No. Look at me. Look at me. Like this. Look in the mirror. Like this. Go up. Like slanted. Like almost going like that on your skin. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. <laughs> it looks like you have fake lashes on. Did it eat my lashes off? Oh, oh! I have never, ever seen this before. That is bizarre. I do this a lot, you guys, and I've never seen it take it off where it actually mimics my lash. I'm like, did my whole lash come off? That scared the crap out of me. Oh, my. <laughs> Hang on, let me see this. She is hairy as crap. Hang on. Holy macro, did you have a beard? What is wrong I with I us? I just lost my lashes. Angel just lost a face full of hair. Oh my goodness. I thought you were supposed to put oil on it. No, don't. Mm -mm. Dry. I did a video about that. Do you even watch my channel? Mm -mm. I'm fine, <laughs> too. <laughs> she's honest. Oh my goodness. And dry skin's coming off. I know. Help me, Lord. <laughs> you need to do a mask before you go to bed. Do a mask and go sit. Like, I just took that off, but I kind of wiped down. But this kind of did the same thing. I've never paid attention to it. Maybe I've never soaked it and then pulled away. That's very funny. Now we're going to let these two compete. Da, 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 da. So Mary Kay has this intense lash intensity, which is like the bomb mascara. But I have some things I don't love about it. And then this Stila brand has the huge mascara. And I love that. So I do love both of these. But for different reasons. And let me tell you what I don't love about this one. I don't recommend it for anybody that has like a lot of watery eyes. Or you're crying or going to a wedding or a special event or whatever. And you might tear up. Because it's not waterproof. So that's that. Okay, so let's give it a good shot. And here's lashes before. I think when I did it last time, I didn't have a good blade. Yeah, that one's a fresh blade. I buy those packs, a 12 or 20 pack. I mean, I look like a man. If you would see all this coming off of me. Yeah, it's 
surprised Mark hasn't been requesting to shave your beard. No, but you can't really see it when I. Well, I'm... your hair's blonde. It's just peach fuzz. You know, it's just fuzzy. But this mascara you have to twist. So you have to kind of like, it has a flat edge and it has like the um, bristles. And so you kind of have to twist it. And again, layer your mascara is really good. This one gives my lashes volume for days. Like really makes them super long. Out of both of the mascaras I used previously and this one, this one previously, this one makes my lashes way longer. I don't do this on purpose, but when I do cry and I have my makeup on, I actually, Alan, one time I was in the truck and he was like handing me a tissue or something. Like sometimes I silence cry and just tears fall or whatever. And then he's like handing me a tissue and I'm like, I don't need a tissue. <laughs> Cause I actually, this is like either I'm mentally crazy or whatever, but I actually want to see how well the makeup performs with my tears dropping down my face. Because when you wipe as you cry, it can kind of make it worse. That mascara is so, like, it almost touches my lashes. I mean, my brows. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. This mascara is really good. That's that lash intensity. That's longer, but the other, it's not as full as that other. Yeah, it's just really long. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do, this is the um, Stila, and it's huge. Now, I just got introduced to this by my friend Ashley. She also has a YouTube channel. And it's really good. First of all, this mascara is lengthening and thickening. I didn't realize how thick it can make my lashes. I got a, I got a chunk right there, a little clumpy clump. But it is really good. So this is the difference. This one makes them super thick, right? Like thick, amazing, like, oh girl, lashes. This one is long and defined. But I'm going to do another coat and see. But see how thick this is? And it's long, like they are the same length. So they're giving me both lengths. So that's really good. That's why I love that one. And then if I just want to thicken this one up a little bit more, let's see what it does. Because I did two coats with each mascara. It's amazing how a mascara in the wand, the formula in the wand can make that big of an impact. So these are giving me the same vibe. What do you think, Angel? I'm a little bit thicker on this side. Thicker, a teeny tad longer on that side. Teeny tad longer and thicker. Thicker for sure, yeah. And longer. Wow, that's crazy. So this was from Stila, and it's the huge mascara, which makes a difference. They're huge. And then this is the Lash Intensity Mary Kay. So that is pretty good. I made dinner tonight, guys. I let Angel leave the kitchen. I was like, let me cook. Um, now so everybody's like, I don't even remember what Angel's meals taste like. So yours was so good. Well, your boys are very loyal because they said you were a better cook, and we know that it's really not true. <laughs> it's not the truth. <laughs> I can only cook a few things. Angel's very good at, like, taking things and putting them together and, like, coming up with amazing recipes and stuff. I'm like, I just, I cook vegetables. I'll cook some pasta. I don't even cook meat. I had a, I made, oh, when I did that sausage for y'all tonight, mm -hmm. it was about to make me barf. I don't the eat smell of meat, the like look it. of it. Oh, I thought it was real good. Yeah, it's just so gross. I wear this, I wear that every day of my life. She's in a bathrobe, you guys. Her mama does too, that's why we do. Yeah, it's the signature look. I feel like, I mean, I watched videos of me on Tinley Hill Events and Design YouTube channel of me like doing stuff around the house. I'm in a robe all the time. Just, it's my, it's my life. It makes me very happy. Yeah, everybody likes you on my channel, Angel. Show off. Bye, girl. See you. I'm, I'm going to wash my hands. She's anti. She. I don't want to talk to y'all. That's what she said. And she'll be back. How'd that go? Doing different mascaras. Oh. What are you, Owen? I, I just could not. You have hair. I don't like it. You don't. I think it's good. I think the sides need to be faded a little. A bit more. It just looks like it's sharp right there. Are they straight? That my one looks higher. Or my hair's not right. Turn and look. Let me see. This one looks higher on this side. It does. Go tell him. That's longer. And ask him to like soften it up a little bit more. He done put all this stuff up. We done cleaned up. Hey. 
Can't be going out in public tomorrow like that. I wear a hat all day anyways now. Wow. Well, so next we're gonna do these two, no. Yeah, let's do these two together. Okay, so this is the um, Lancome Mascara. It's a mini though, it doesn't come like this. And then this is the Mary, Mary Kay Fanorama. Fanorama Mascara. So we're gonna do these two. We're gonna see, now I know this one, I've used it true and true, okay? It's a good mascara. Um, so we're gonna use this one. Kinda reminds me, I'm just defining every lash similar to um, the first one we did from Ulta Beauty. Same concept to me, to be honest. Boom, yeah, this is a no makeup makeup lash. If you are the girl that you're like, mm-mm, I don't really do a lot of makeup, I don't, I'm not trying to make an impact with my lashes. I just want them to be visible. Then the Mary Kay Fam Fanorama and the Ulta Beauty Mascara. Those two, out of the ones I not, now I've tried, I would say these, okay? So, really cool. I'll do one more coat of that. But yeah, I mean, it's not like clumpy, thick, nothing. It's just like a great lash. Okay, so now we're going to do, oh my, look at this. Oh my. It's making me nervous. Okay, we're going to put this one on. This one, I haven't even read about it, but I feel like this one would make them thick because of the applicator. I mean, for whatever reason, it is really picking up my lashes, though. Dang. I mean, this is a defining one, too. It made it thicker, though, but it actually took every teeny lash and separated it. So it's a separator. I see. And then as you take it through those lashes even more... Yeah, it really, I mean, it's picked up. It made them thicker, but it, like, defined them even more, you know? And, wow, that really gave it a lot of length. So, maybe no makeup makeup, you could really pull this off, too. I'm kind of into that. I like this a lot. Huh. Can we watch a show in your bedroom? Why? Because Jeffrey's on and we want to be... In my room? Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Watch Make sure you bedroom. set my pillows, like, correctly, okay? Hmm. I could do another coat. I think I didn't do that. I didn't do two coats. Hey, baby doll. I'm trying out different mascaras. Uh, Timber was really trying to find a spot on my couch, so he is literally on my bag. Same. That eye's very twitchy. <coughs> we'll soak this one off. He's literally on my work bag. And his paw was on your stuff. So the last mascara is one that I've used for years and years. It's the Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. And it's always getting me compliments. Always, always. What mascara do you have on? It's just a good, like, just a good traditional mascara. So let's put this on. Okay. So here's this mascara. Got a good base coat on. Again, it gives me length, but it's not like, boom, length in your face. It gives me some thickness. It's just a good, you know, it's a good mascara. Okay, so while that sits, and before I do the second layer, let's rate these mascaras. The Ulta Beauty, remember I'm using love, like, dislike. So this is a like. This is a like. Like those for wearing no makeup or like literally no makeup makeup. Okay. Then I like this one. I like that. Too Faced. The Stila I love. And then the Intense Mascara I love. And then the Lancome I like. And then this one I like. So I guess there's not really a dislike. I actually like them all. Um, if I would go with a dislike though, it would be these two because I'm not really a basic chick. So the fam fam fanorama in the Ulta Beauty. If I was like, and eh, they're not giving me anything, it would be these. But I really like them. I mean, you know, listen, I like doing my makeup very different most times. So I like to have my options. You know, I'm an option girl when it comes to makeup. I like options with foundations and CC creams and mascaras and lips and all the things. So, there we go. Do you know how I've been telling you for, I guess, two weeks? <laughs> I'm like, I am doing this um, mask. I want to do the Biocellius Lifting Mask. I do it all the time. 
but I've honestly, the times that I've done my mask, I've done other masks that I could walk around and do things with. This one you have to lay down. So I'm gonna really try my best to do this tonight. Um, I'm gonna go take my shower and I'm gonna get stale. I'm gonna try to do this mask. Okay, it's not the best angle, but it's fine. I am gonna do this lifting mask that I keep talking about because I'm gonna sit still and trying to focus this in. I'm gonna sit still and watch a show for a minute. So, just like y'all like watching beauty videos, I do too. Um, I actually watch them all the time. So, and I kind of pinch it as I pull this out because it has so much liquid in here. Um, and then I put this on. I'm gonna also put this on Alan's face and I'm gonna do one too, so I need to do his first. Okay, Alan has his on and now I'm gonna do mine. Okay, let's see. I've been wanting to do this for days. Okay, let's see. You basically, it's three pieces, so you peel the back off and then you're left with kind of like a slimy mask. And then you put it on your face. It's very cold. And then you just put it on your skin. Oh gosh, it's so cold. I have to lay down to get mine right. And once it's on your skin, it really hugs your skin nice. But you cannot do this and walk around. It will slide right off your face. Wow, well, it's been a while. So I'm going to take it off. In the last few minutes not watching the Outer Banks. I watched Pimple Poppers on Instagram. <laughs> I'm, I'm obsessed. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do my nighttime treatments. I'm going to do some oil. I'm going to do some intense moisturizer. And I'm going to do some retinol. Those three things. And then I'll put these on my eyes and eye patches. Hey friend, you can tell that I'm so dedicated for the calls of beauty. Um, I drop my kids off super early at school and early it's school hours, whatever, and get to work. But I was like, I'm not going to the studio. I'm going to Sephora. It is the last day of February and February is my birthday month. So I have a gift in Sephora that I want to pick up and a couple new items. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and go there. So I have been in the mall parking lot, which I despise the mall. Just FYI, I don't like going here. I'm only going here for this store. But I have been here since a little after eight and it's 10 o'clock and the store doesn't even open until 11. I've already been in the mall because I could go to the bathroom and I actually got locked in the mall. That's a very scary thing, but they were like pulling a car outside the mall. So there's the entrance. They were pulling a car out to check it out. So all the doors were open. I was like, oh yeah, beeline. I got to go to the bathroom. And I know people go early to walk in the mall, but they don't open it up till 10. Well, it was like 9 15. And so, but I went in to go to the bathroom and then when I came back, all the doors were locked and I panicked. I was on the phone with my sister, but then somebody walked by and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm locked in the mall. Can you please get me out? And he was like, you're locked in the mall. How did you get locked in here? So he let me out, but yeah, they keep everything locked up. Only employees can get in if you have a key or whatnot. But I'm dedicated to the calls, you guys. I like really want some of these new products and I'm excited about them, but also I'm like, it's my birthday. Hello. I got to get my gift. I cannot miss out on this. So I'm going to do that. But you can tell I'm a true content creator because I'm not just sitting here like watching movies. I'm literally getting my content done. So I'm just telling you real life, you guys. So I have a whole notebook, which this is just, it's a notebook, right? I have like a whole system of how I do things. This is just one of my notebooks. Um, I have a content planning one as well, but I have like a list of things that I'm getting done. I have short form content that I post on a lot of different social media accounts and we have a social media scheduler for all those accounts. But one thing that I enjoy doing is making sure that I can batch process. I actually enjoy batching because I feel super ahead. I feel very accomplished. So for the A&O show, 
I like to batch. And for my kids' YouTube channel and their Instagram, I manage their business um, and their social media. I batch for them as well. So that's what I'm working on. I have one more hour. Um, Sephora opens up at 11. And then I'll literally have like 15 minutes in the store because I got to get back to the studio because I have a 12 o'clock. Um, class with our content women and they're amazing. So if you are an entrepreneur woman or maybe you still have like a nine to five and that's amazing, but you also have like a side hustle and inspire to be an entrepreneur woman, then hey, you could be a part of Create Content Academy. It's amazing. It's dope. It's literally what I do and what Olivia does. It's just we have a community of women that do the same thing that we teach and we have students that we like, um, you know, mentor in that. So that's that. All right, I'm done gabbing. I got work to do. I'll see you in Sephora. Peace. Finished. This is what my view looks like. I'm at Chick fil A and I got my Zoom up. So I'm ready for my meeting. Um, so hopefully, by the time it starts in like five minutes, I can be in a parking spot. Um, they move pretty fast. But let me tell you, I've been going to Chick fil A for a long, 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 long time and I've never thought about asking them for a Chick fil A sandwich with no chicken. And now I do that. It's my second time doing it. And I got that fries and an unsweet tea with Splenda and it was $6. I'm floored. Me and the boys went, so they both get like a full meal. They're not, they're at school right now, but they both get a full meal. And then I basically got a meal and it was like $20 or maybe like $23. It was something like that. And I like asked her and I was like, are you sure that's the right price? <laughs> She's like, yeah. And I was like, I've never eaten a Chick-fil-A and it's not like $28, $29 by the time we order what we want. Wow. I'm like $6 hook me up. I'm excited about it. And then me, a, a, a. So I'm excited anyways. Um, and it is actually pretty good. It's just a regular veggie sandwich, basically. I mean, maybe next time I can be like, can you load it up with lettuce and not just like a strip of lettuce? That would be lovely. So we'll see. But all right, meeting time. We're going to do our makeup backwards. I am kind of worried about this process because I am such in a routine of this is how I do my face and these are the steps. Like I can do it with my eyes closed. Honestly, just about, I can even feel the bottles and be like, that's the one I need. And I, I feel very good about that. So doing it backwards makes my brain kind of freak out <laughs> a little bit but we're gonna do it backwards. I am gonna use some new products with you today, so if you wanna do your makeup backwards, I mean, go, go, go wash your face. Go wash your face, and let's do our face together. I love getting woo, ready with you. Um, I did have some iced coffee. Mm. If I can actually get the straw right, but that is really yummy, but really sweet today. I don't know what I did differently to that, but it tastes very sweet. So, we're gonna go ahead and get going, and I have done all my prep work. I washed my skin, I exfoliated my skin, I did microplaning to my skin, I tweezed, and I hydrated, I did vitamin C, vitamin E, and I did lip oil. So I did all my treatments. I use, um, the base of my skincare is from Mary Kay Cosmetics. It's tried and true. I've used it since I was in middle school, like 11, 10, 11, 12, age range, starting to use the skincare products. And more recently, I've started kind of DIYing some of my skincare, which is like body care and scrubs, and I use a, an extra vitamin, um, vitamin E oil, but the base of my skincare has always been what it is, and so I feel very comfortable and confident in that, and over time, I've just kind of intermingled a few things, but not changing the whole line. So, I think there is times where you can, you know, add a couple extra skincare products in that are not going to totally mess up what you're doing. And my skin has really adapted well to that. I'm just going through a transition with my skin in the seasons. 
just like my hair journey, my skin goes through a shedding process. So around my nose and my mouth tend to stay super, super dry going into, you know, the fall and the winter months. And right now is when we're kind of breaking out of that. But back in the day when I was younger, it was my eyes. I never did it around my nose or mouth. It's kind of like it moves down and then it cycles back around. It's the most bizarre thing. My eyes haven't done it in probably two years, but it used to be the eyelids. So if you can relate to me with flakiness on your skin in patches, let me know because I can definitely do more of a space on my channel in a beauty vlog one week about my routine in that. And I can really be mindful of grabbing that and bringing you more knowledge and education and ingredients and things that you do want to use. That will definitely help because I... I maintain it and I push through it and you wouldn't even know it was an issue because I really do take care of it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our Charlotte Tillsbury product. I think this is who this is from. Now I'm looking at it and I'm like, yeah, it is. Okay, made me very nervous for two seconds. But this is, it primes and it sets up to 16 hours. So it instantly locks in your look of your makeup with a magic for, wait, let me read this again. What does it say? It says, lock in your look for makeup magic. That's what it is. I was like, what does this makeup magic mean? Um, that looks just applied. So I love that. Like it's just applied, right? So it holds up to six to eight hours. So anyways, a tiny little fine print. I have to say when I am doing a lot of research and development phases of like, I want to research this product, da, 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 right? And potentially I'm making my own body care and things like that with my scrub, which I love. I offer that to my BBC, my collective um, women, which we have a lot of fun together. But um, yeah, I'm always thinking like, I cannot read this. It is tiny print, so I'm just like, how can I like make sure when I get a product, I'm just very mindful of, oh, that's kind of how I want to do that or whatever. So I love this. Anyways, so I've never used this. I sprayed it on my face, actually, I lie. I sprayed it on my face yesterday, um, and my makeup set very well. So we're going to do it again. We're doing it backwards. So we're doing setting spray first. Let's go. Has a clean smell. I do enjoy a good scent and it's I like the scent of a natural scent to the product so we went ahead and did our setting spray then I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty face primer which is the soft silk this wasn't necessarily backwards to the whole look but it definitely is backwards because that's typically the first step that I would do after moisturizing and then we're just going to moisturize my face with everything feels really good the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to go in with our translucent powder. This is the Mary Kay translucent powder. I have a video on my channel of bulletproofing your makeup. And this is exactly how you bulletproof your makeup when your skin is naturally oily. These are actually the steps that you do want to use. I think that's kind of funny. We're going to do concealer first. Then we're going to go in with contour. Then we're going to go in with our warmth. And then I'm going to go in with my foundation. Oh, and blush before foundation. So let's go. And this is called under sculpting. Just the most bizarre thing ever. So crazy. But I'm just like concealing everywhere where naturally I would want more coverage. I saw this on a little girl's makeup video she did a little heart in the middle and i was like that's adorbs i don't know her name or i'd have to give her a shout out i just started following her instagram and she's so young but she does her mom's makeup too if y'all know who i'm talking about drop it in the comments and i'm like you're adorable but she does like a little heart right there which i think is so cute okay and now, oh we're not gonna fill this in yet oh i am gonna fill this in i'm gonna go ahead and conceal okay so we are gonna conceal Okay, I do love that, but I do want to take a little concealer now that is skin color, and I'm just going to take it in some areas that I would typically need to give a little bit more full coverage to. Mary Kay Perfecting Concealer in Light Beige, and the concealer I just did was Laura Mercier 
and that was one in. We're gonna go in and we're gonna sculpt the face. This is Fenty Beauty in Mocha. <laughs> So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the brush that I always take and you have to get this brush set. If you do not have this yet, it is the most affordable brush set ever. It's like 30 to $40 range. I have it in the rose gold and the white. I have it in the description as well. I have everything really organized on my Amazon link. So if you click that link, it'll get you to different lists. I have a beauty list, I have a home decor list. YouTube's list, different things like that, like helping you with like different things that you potentially may be looking for and stuff I mentioned a lot on my channel. But this brush set was really affordable and with almost a 30 piece set, I'm like, wow, hands down, couldn't believe it. It comes with a different, it doesn't even come with a case actually, it comes just in a box. So get you a case to hold it, I love that. This brush right here, I love it and it is Y88. I've used it for a lot of different things in my videos but now I'm more, using this for like my creams around my face so now that i put that on i don't have my blush on yet i think i should actually add my blush now and then i'm gonna do foundation so oh and i didn't tell you but that was that bronzing stick was from rare beauty and it is happy soul and then from rare beauty as well this one is called happy and it's just a really beautiful pink tone so I'm just gonna pop that there. I'm actually gonna put a teeny bit on the tip of my nose, just a little bit. Just a natural blush. And once I kind of line everything up, I think it'll look good. I mean, so far this under sculpting is kind of cool. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my Clinique Even Better Clinical Foundation, and this is CN52 really great foundation so now I'm taking there was a little fuzz in that one so now I'm taking that with my brush and I'm just gonna dot everywhere that I need my foundation If you have any struggle at all lining your eyebrows up, making them appear fluffier and more natural and like lifelike, right? Because sometimes they can end up looking just like not as, you know, natural and pretty and effortless. Then use the Urban Decay Brow Blade. I swear by this product ever since I got my hands on it. I wish I would have found it sooner, but I did not. I have a fuzz on my nose. So I am just going to take my MAC paint pot and I'm going to conceal my eyelids. Take like the veiny, the bluey, the unevenness out of my lids and then soften them up with like a natural contour.
Okay, so to catch you up on what I just did, I did contour my nose back and I did go back in with a little concealer on my nose. I just think I have to have that. It just makes me feel better. But the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I used this palette. And also this one, I use one shadow out of each. So I am loving these. So I have something brand new I'm going to bring to you for my lashes. And I'm going to do a lash primer. I'm going to prime my lashes. That is one thing that you have constantly asked. Like, if you can recommend a good lash primer, what would it be? So I did get the Lancome product right here, a little mini. I am going to give this a good test go. And again, the mascara that I just did a demo with just a few minutes ago for you of that Lancome Mascara. So I'm excited to try both of these together. Before that dries down, personally, I like to go in with mascara. I mean, I'm not sure if I notice a huge, huge difference, but my lashes are very long. <laughs> Look how long they are. They look like fake spider lashes. So maybe it did do something. <laughs> I haven't been into lipstick lately because the staying power of it is not the same. And I just am into like that liquid matte because I know it's going to be there for a long time. But I did put on this lipstick. It is really nice. Um, it is one of my favorite, I would say, like formulas of a lipstick. It's so, so soft and nourishing to the lip, uh, but it's not as clean. And so that kind of bothers me after a while if I eat or drink or whatever. Um, but I'm going to put on Bare from the lip kit. There we go. That's really cute. So I love this really clean. I think like if I were going out, out. I would do false lashes, some liner, and more sculpting on the cheeks. But for this look, it's really, really nice. I don't see that I see a lot of precision, which bothers me. So when you are under sculpting, I'm like, it looks good. It's nice. It's just not perfection like I would want. Because when I do my makeup, I'm super particular about that. Um, especially you know, wanting it to stand out. So this is definitely a vibe and a look. Um, yeah. So what do you think? I don't know. Drop in the comments. Let me know. I could have gone a little bit heavier. I could have maybe not blended as much and it would have maybe stood out a little bit more, but to under sculpt, it's definitely a possibility if that's something that you do want to do. Um, yeah, but again, I like to blend out and I don't like harsh lines. So that's just my personality with my makeup. So I think I might just sit here and play a little bit more and see what more I can do. Okay, if you're still watching, I have to show you something. I got something else new and it is from Charlotte Tillsbury. And right here it is the Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish. So we're gonna end with this. I have literally not used it. I've only tested it in the store. Here it is. Let's see if this is a keeper. Um, reading about it, seeing about it, I was like kind of into it. Um, I'm just gonna get my blender here and we're gonna do a little setting and we're going to finish off this face with this powder. I like that I went in and did more. Um, are we on the same page that I'm not such a natural girl? <laughs> when it comes to makeup, if I was like, I'm not gonna do makeup, I'm gonna let it show. Okay. That is so good. That's really good. Then I'll just go back in with my brush and just kind of make sure everything's kind of soft. Right there. I don't mind things being like harsh, but it has to like fade into the harshness, right? But I'm into this and I actually do love these new products. And there's a couple other things I do want to get in the next few weeks and bring to you because I'm pretty obsessed with like seeing them, reading about them, watching other videos on them. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to bring them to you because I think they'll be super beneficial for you and things that you've been asking me in anyway. So I kind of like, I know you ask and I take my time to 
figure that out for you. Um, so yeah, it's really cool. So thank you for being here. This was really fun to do. Um, get you a tight, slick bun and live your best life. And I cannot wait to see you on the next vlog. Peace out. Bye. Coming up next week on another great beauty vlog. But then I was like, man, I think you would love this. Thank you for being here on today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment and give it a thumbs up. Let's me know you love this content. I will see you in the next beauty vlog.